Hello everybody and welcome back to our Gilman campaign. We are at the top of a new turn and we have a proclamation from Atlantis which is most likely a prophet. It is indeed a prophet. We also have another research level in Conjuration. I switched that to Enchantment. Now let's go into the battles. There is a battle in Pilgrim's Rest. They are attacking our main army there, Tokshin's army, with a fairly small group. I don't think they have what it takes to bring down this army. Just... Looks like they do have some devils there, though. But they shouldn't be proved to be a problem. And there go their devils. They are in a route. Game is ours. Or, well, battle is ours. Battle in the heart of Valenwood. More bodies to add to the pile. Holy crap. There's a lot of them. But I'm still confident we will win. Ooh. Ouch. That is a lot of legionnaires, oh my god. Alright, some of our barbarians are running. Looks like half their force is now routed. And the other half is now routed. Pythium is having no luck against us. They, they did actually have some kills that time. Nine Yamabushis fell against their one against their 300 units. One of the 158 died. Wow. Okay, a band of renegade shrimp soldiers have been recruited into your service in Frywater. Where is that? Okay. And I'm assuming both these crab generals as well. Camelin and Kinshika. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> I'll take them. Let's move. I, mean, I suppose I can just take that. How many shrimp, shrimp, yeah, shrimp soldiers do I have? 32? Uh, I don't know. They probably could take out the Tritons. Eh. Let's move them south. All right, breakfast item, you'll move there. They have 120, okay. So we almost are ready to lift the siege there. Oh, I, I have other messages actually, hold on. Interest to the fortification of Forest of Mouse has been breached. The enemy is gonna storm. We can breach the shallows. All right, so we can finally breach here. The enemy is taking that with their around 400 units. Not good. Let's do that. Um, I would like them all to be in at least one group. Let's just combine these all. There, and then we'll just give you all the Akka. There we go. Okay. Hold and attack the rearmost enemy. Okay. This is my last chance to stop them from taking this castle. I'm gonna take it. We're gonna try. And also... Electo, Lighthawk, and Potatoes of Doom are going to join. I, you know, actually, let's get you in there as well. Okay. And the rest of you, I guess, just stay there. 
and continue preaching do what you do uh chris i suppose we can move out of there you don't actually have any troops to lead right now so we should change that get you back to the castle um enclave you should be preaching you should be preaching okay so hopefully with the help of Alfriel, Electo, Lighthawk, Potatoes of Doom, and our army, Super Target Vacation, Maragon, Gorehaven, everybody, Stormy Sunrise, hopefully we can take that. Hopefully. We'll see. Uh, what else is going on? We're still siege there, so let us break that siege. Let's send you guys up there. Army setup. Put you there. Oh, you're filled. Um, hmm. Do that. That. Okay. Whoops. Hold and attack the remote. Hold and attack closest. And, um, well, I'm sure blessings will be going off. You summon store power, storm power, not store power. Um, and then I think you'll just be casting some lightning bolts. Cast spells. Alright, I believe this army should be strong enough to take these guys out. Let us also, of course, have the troops inside. Break the siege. You guys continue to sit there. I would like to get some kind of reinforcements up there. Uh, but Fusaki is he Whoops. Kusaki is here to gather up more Kappa. Now you will go down there. Um, huh. Who here has a high leadership for casters? 35, 40, okay, that's good enough. So you will go back here, collect some more reinforcements, of which we are recruiting. We have 269 gold. It's just another caster. Okay. Now, spell time. What do I want to do with that? I did want to try and summon a... Um... Oh, I forget the name of it. What the hell is it called? Where are you? Yeah, this Kinzoku. It's only level one Earth and level one Astral. And it takes nine Astral Pearls. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we do have somebody who can do it. Okay, let's do a little bit of alchemy. Let's get rid of the Death Gems. And I can't convert them all, but we'll put some in. There we go. Alright, you are going to summon this Kinzoku, which is like a warrior spirit. And then we have five gems left. Gorehaven is actually moving into the fight, so he can't summon... I guess I'll probably just hold on to those gems for right now. Because when, when we're summoning the Konoha Tengu, that actually it helps to have a higher level of air magic. So I don't think I have anybody else that can really cast them effectively. So I'll just hold off on that. Okay, what else is there to do? We have 11 water gems, 19 earth, 10, oh, 10 nature. Right, right, the thistle mage. 
or <laughs> this little mace that I made. Um, you grab that thistle mace and forge us an enormous. Is it 15? Oh, God. Okay. Okay. I don't even think we. Uh, let's use the earth gems. I don't really use them for much. I could use them for stuff, but I don't. Alright. Make an enormous cauldron. And that is going to do it for this turn. I wish we could convert blood slaves. I really do. We have 112 of these bastards. I, c I could. Actually, you know what? I could. Hold on. We're going to assign disciples to all of these casters. And by disciples, I mean people who can take some damage for them. enough I mean I have the I have the bodies I might also use them because they do count for actual units in a fight and besides that let's just in the turn I just won't call them blood slaves acolytes apprentices um Warriors in training. Guards. <laughs> in our empire, we don't believe in blood slaves. We're a good empire, remember? We don't even summon any undead stuff. <laughs> Though we could, with all the fucking death gems we got. Ugh. All right, research and enchantment is complete. Victim of an assassination attempt. Very good. You were not assassinated. There was a battle in the Forest of Mouths. Okay, let's see how this goes. Ho. Good God. I believe in you. I believe in my army. Trust in the samurai. Oh, Jesus. Alright, here come the flyers. They should be destroyed by our flyers. Or thugs or anybody. And now their backline is being killed by our Tengus. Some of our thugs are still back here, dealing with the other enemy flyers. Their chariots are being destroyed. Those really are chariots pulled by centaurs? I don't think I've ever seen that unit before. I assumed when I saw the picture of centaurs and chariots in one of their castles, I thought it was just two separate units. But I guess that's an actual unit. Tinku doing a great job in the back, clearing out all the crossbowmen. Akaoni Samurai doing good. Our Yamabushis are running away? Really? Alright, some of our thugs are getting into the fight here. Tenku's still cleaning up the back line. Oh boy. I've lost track of one of our thugs, of Afia, Afiriel? Oh, uh, no, don't tell me. Oh, no, there he is, there he is, right there. Okay. Uh, the only people I'm really looking at right now is all of our thugs, making sure they don't die. 
Tengu did an amazing job clearing out the crossbows. Akaoni holding the front line with the thug assistance. And they are routed. Wait a minute. There should be three. Oh, there are three dragons. Okay. Jeez, that, that was really good. Those Tengus, man. Cleaning house in the backfield. That's a lot of damage that was negated by them killing those crossbows. Oh. Wait a minute. Did we just lose? No, we didn't. Oh, thank God. I thought we lost uh, a thug. Whew, okay. So, we lost 53 units. We lost no commanders at all. But 23 Akaoni, 10 Yamabushi, 10 Karasu Tengus, and 10 Konoha Tengus. The enemy lost 359. They lost all of their commanders because of the Tengu killed them all. They lost almost all the crossbowmen again because of the Tengu. They had 55, jeez. Yeah, like not many people made it out. Who actually made it out? A griffin, that makes sense. How about deer somehow managed to make it out? And some flagellants. Man. That that was pretty good. We did have some losses on our side, but we've cleaned house. My god. And Pythium is coming at us again with a much smaller force this time. We already know we're gonna win that one. We lost five Yamabushis, they lost 91 soldiers. Battle in Urfingal. This is us lifting the siege here. Another amazing force of sacred flying units. A very strong line of Yamabushi, Samaka Oni, Thug. Well, we don't, actually, we don't have any thugs in this one. Let's see how we do. Yes. So let me see, what kind of protection do these guys have now with all these buffs? Still only six. Ah, there we go. These guys got hit with some protection spells. Thirteen. I guess, even with all my casters, not everybody is getting hit with a protection spell. But it looks like a big chunk of our Tengu's got the protection, so that's good. Alright, Yamabushi are beginning the fight. Tenku should be joining shortly. And the Tengus. Some of those poison attacks are hitting most of our troops. Another good round for our Tengus. We're definitely going to be losing a few. Yeah. I think we've lost around 10 or so, just judging by the... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to judge by the amount of uh I hear when it's the enemy's turn to attack. I'm also seeing a ton of repels or just misses going on too, which is to be expected with a 16 attack skill and an 18 defensive skill on these guys. They should be able to repel any weapon that is of equal length or shorter. Unfortunately, a lot of these guys look like they are carrying spears, so I think they're just plain up missing. All 
I speed this up a little bit. This is taking a while. The number of uhs I'm hearing is now decreasing. <laughs> the enemy is almost completely wiped out. Believe in the Tengus. Excellent. Oh, that's not the battle I wanted. D -d 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 this is the battle I wanted. Okay, we lost 26 Tengus in that fight. Three Yamabushis. Enemy lost a total of 194 units. So we're definitely winning. The problem is, all of these empires we're fighting have... I think, much more territory than we do, definitely a lot more men than we do, so even though we're getting win after win, it's still not in our favor. At least we aren't just getting totally wiped out. Battle in the Shallows, so this is our sieging force in the water, all of our crab generals, and uh, Isupiki, and I th is that Electo, or who is this? Akros, sorry. Akros. And we have Rippity Dip down there with a bow that he can't actually use right now. Um, but let's see, we're fighting some sea trolls, octopus, giant sea serpent, which should fall to the shrimps. There we go. The trolls may be a bit of a problem. And that narrow passage at the castle gates, that's going to be hard to break with their crazy regeneration. We're gonna lose some shrimps. Oh, the Bone Melter! Oh, that spell is so amazing. I'll just take away the gatehouse just so we can see this battle more clearly. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Oh my god, our crab generals are being encased in ice. Another bone melter going off. There we go. We broke through the gates. Let's speed this up now a little bit. Shrimps leading the way. Think about this when you're about to eat your next uh, meal involving shrimps. Remember, a shrimp can fight back. They put on some armor, they grab a glaive. They can do some damage. And also if they were, let's say, like six feet tall. Or six feet long. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Uh, so we did win that fight. We ended up losing nine units, two shark warriors, six shrimp, one kappa. But that's pretty damn good. Battle in the soul deep sea. Oh no. Oh my god. It's an independent group of a sea king and his trolls. Holy sh good god. There's no way you guys are gonna win this. If there was like three trolls in the Sea King, it would be a probably lost fight. Oh, maybe they can at least kill one. At least kill one shrimps. There we go, we got two. Actually, the shrimps are doing pretty good at repelling them. I think. Oh, because they do have a very low attack skill. Nine and nine, whereas the shrimps are, well, ten and twelve. Not much better, but they are getting some repels off. They, they did more than I thought they would. Oh, look at that. Oh. Well, Crab Commander got a kill, I think. That's unfortunate. We're under siege in Soul Deep Sea from an independent group. And there is our new Ryujin. Um, let's see. Name. Name, 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 name. Where are we? Marked off, marked off. Um... Peasant leader? No, this doesn't really fit. Red Devil Hero? I don't. Even, I haven't even seen one of those. Uh, here we go. Sorry, it's still a long list of names, but everybody has their own particular request. So I need to get to the next person in the line who's like, ah, you know, I'll just be anybody. So here we go. Calabarn. Bairn. Bairn. Uh, you're under our new region and are currently under siege by a group of independent sea trolls 
Luckily, you do have some shrimps on your side. Um. Oh, cool. Right, right, right. Our uh, Kenzoku. Alright, so they have awe by default. They do not need to eat. They are ethereal. They are sacred. 26 hit points. Holy crap. Uh, anyway, 17 protection, 15 magic resist, 18 morale, 15, 15, 15. An enchanted katana, which does magic damage. Hmm. Leadership, 80. Okay. Let's see who's going to be this guy. Let me consult my list. Um, this person, I've had to skip over a few times because of the request of peasant leader, but you know what, dude? I'm sure you will be fine with being this guy. I would hope, anyway. Rekon. Rekon the Kinzoku. That is a pretty badass unit right there. Just look at those stats natively. Comes with awe, is already sacred. Oh, man. Um, yeah, I may actually make a couple of these guys, and they would just be some thugs. Because blessed, man. Blessed they would be even more crazy. They would, these guys would be really good. And they can lead. And they're only nine Astro Pearls. You know how easy that is to get? Just the fact that they have awe naturally. That's insane. Well, how much awe does that shield give? One. They natively come with a better awe than this shield does. Wow. Holy crap. So that means... Oh, man. What would I give you then? Like a vine shield instead? What could I give you? You know what? Hold on. Research. Go back into construction. I don't think I've ever had a game where I've had my construction get to level 8. I always stop at level 6, so I've never... I don't even think I've seen the unique artifacts before. But yeah, like, for right now, I think I just give you the Vine Shield. And then just make more Firebrands for him. Um... Let's see, what can you make? In terms of shields. Ah, lead shield, that's terrible. You can make the shield shimmy glow. She. Will that stack? Because then he'd have an awe of three. Does this place have a laboratory? It does. Okay, let me test this real quick. We're going to put this into the laboratory. Put that in the laboratory. It does! Okay! Well, let's give this one back to... Pomegranate. So that's what I will do instead. I will make some more of those. Wow. Dude, I need to just keep making these Kinzokus. So all three, if I have the shield with them. Good god. Unfortunately, I couldn't give them a cauldron because these guys don't eat. Part of the bug. But, I mean, who, why would I give them a cauldron anyway? They, they, these, those slots should be taken with better things than a cauldron. And also ethereal by default, which is insane. God, that, that's a cool unit. Alright, well, I think I see what we're going to be summoning in the future. In fact, let me just... We can only do currently one per turn, I think. Because our only Astral Earth Mage is this guy. Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is. So let's just do that real quick. Let's do Alchemy. We'll get rid of the uh, Death Gems again. And we'll put them into Air. We'll just do that because I need the others to cast. Another Kinzoku. Those guys are nuts, man. Just simply nuts. But I'm going to need a ton of gems to get them all outfitted. I want a lot of these guys. Like an army of Kinzokus just going at it. That'd be sweet. Bunch of crazy commies. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. That's, that's a cool unit. I'm glad I summoned that to see what it's like. 
Uh, as far as our war it, uh, efforts going, we did lift the siege here. We finally took that castle. We managed to beat them back there. So now this army will continue to march south, hopefully push them off the island. Uh, again, we need to change the dominion, which we're still trying to do here. But as, as soon as we can secure our dominion on this island, we can push them out and then hold this choke point here. As long as the, the dominion stays on our in our side, well... Actually, that won't help us in winter. These would freeze over anyway. Uh, that's going to be a little tough. Yeah, that's going to be tough. Because our dominion isn't like a heat scale to counteract the effects of winter. Uh, this is just going to be a brutal fight. We would need to... Ouch, we would need to like push them back. God, even to there because they can make that crossing. Which they're actually they're probably going to... Holy crap, look at that. Oh, should I pull these guys back? I should probably pull these guys back. Oh, I'll, I'll think about that in the next episode. So thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time. Take care.